I thought I'd do a little bit of analysis of Tiger Woods' recent performance at the Australian Masters, and uh, I really like what I see happening. Um, time will only tell whether he's, um, you know, getting on track now. But um, I've had a lot of people ask me. I said, Brad, what do you think of, of Sean Pauly's work with Tiger? And I said, Well, I've got to reserve my my opinion because I don't think he's had enough time to actually work with Tiger in terms of Tiger being healthy enough to work on some of the things that that him and Sean have been working on. But I do like what I see, and Tiger's now healthier, he says, and, and he's had a chance to actually spend time and work on it. And, and i got to admit, I like what I see happening here. One of the big things I like happening is the rehearsals Tiger's making in the downswing. Again, camera and those here aren't perfect, but you get a gist of how the club's working down on his rehearsals. Um, that outside-in or over-the-top move while maybe bad for most amateurs, is actually a good move for Tiger because it helps him feel the club not coming too much from the inside and more of a release with his body and not his hands. Um, that rehearsal, though, produces a golf swing like this. And a downswing definitely more on plane, not getting too far behind him on the way down back out in front of him, right on plane here, and definitely coming out lower. Nothing like the one on the left, but that's the deal. I think a lot of people need to work on some of the opposites of where they've been, and in reality, when they make a swing, they feel that, but obviously, it's nowhere like where it, where it is in the rehearsal. And I like that. I think people need to practice um, and, and do rehearsals that are more extreme than what they really want, and then by the time they put it into motion, real motion, it gets you know pretty good, and they actually get the the thing fixed as far as what they're trying to work on. In Tiger's case, trying to get the club more to the outside, more back on top of the plane. Shaft is steepening, and swinging very much left, and then the real swing comes down pretty much on plane. So in every frame here, that shaft's getting closer and closer to the original plane, but it's not flattening. It's above and parallel here, still above and pretty much parallel here, but actually closer to being on the line there, definitely on the line there, and most definitely on the line there. Very few golfers actually had the club on that line, on the original plane and address, uh, ben Hogan did, Bryce Muller does, Nick Price did at times, and Tiger at times, but now even better than I've seen in the past. So the club definitely comes out lower on the way through, below his left shoulder. I think before it was either on that shoulder or even at times above the shoulder because he was using his hands to square the club face up. Much more released, though, with the body now, and this rehearsal produces that. There's some other things I like about what he's done. I think his posture is much better. He's definitely been over more at address than he has been in the past. I think he was standing up too tall before. He's now got his chest over his arms. So on the way back, the left arm can stay more up against the chest on the way back. Shaft stays more outside his hands, but it is on plane there. His hands have been lifted. They're actually more on the plane, so more of a turn. All the result, though, of him being more bent over at address, which allows that to happen. And then on the way down, I think his right arm reattaches to his chest, and he swings more left. Kind of what he's trying to do here. That left arm, right arm is definitely more up against his chest. Right arm reattaches there. Where he can feel that motion of swinging more left. Um, even in some pitch shots, which I thought he did really well during the tournament. This, by the way, is a much better camera angle. Again, the guy who took the video wasn't still. But, again, you get a gist of what he's trying to do. On the way down, again, above and parallel, getting closer and closer back on the original plane. And then you can really see how much he swings left here. Right arm is pinned up against his chest, which helps him release the golf, the golf club more with his body, his more of his chest, 
uh, and his hips and his arms staying in front of his body and coming up very low again. So I think he had some really great, great pitch shots during the, during the tournament. And the reason why is because it's more on plane, I think. So, again, I like what I see happening. Time will only tell whether um, he's getting it. Um, I think that uh, we'll see more and more in the Chevron and the President's Cup tournament coming up. And uh, I look forward to seeing uh, his progress.